Hi everybody, welcome to Mega Energy TV episode 1. So my studio stories that I got are really happen, happen to me and to some other guys too. So anyway, now we start with the episode 1 when I was young, I'm still, but anyway. So I had a job from the recording company. So they gave me, as a producer, they gave me a guy with me and we flew to Italy, to Mantova, like this. And um, this guy was starting, I had to make the song for the tennis um, competition European Indoors, which were, I think, in Zurich. So Steffi Graf was also playing there. And I have to make the title melody of that one. So I got the producing job and I went with this musician. I don't announce now which name, but anyway, it's so funny. But So I went down there to Mantova, to uh, Giancarlo Studios, um, and <laughs> it's great. And this guy was starting um, talking in the airplane and um, after a couple of minutes, he started to say, well, yeah, I have to wait, uh, to sell millions of CDs and stuff. And, and uh, you know, very, very weird because I know how um, hard it is to uh, sell so many million of records. But anyway, so we went down there, we went to the studio, we made the production, we made the bass, we made everything on it. So the master was close to finish. So this guy was a violinist. So he said, I said, so now you go into the cabin and um, you have to play your violin. That because he had one with him. And he said, uh, I'm sorry. I said, yeah, you go in there and you play the melody. And, and he said, no way, I can't play violin. I said, what? He said, no, no, I just go, I mime like this. I don't, I don't play violin. I just have it with me in case some fans see me so I can prove that I'm that guy. And I said, but how we can do now a record without violin? He said, well, we use, usually when he made the other records, he used a Kurzweil, which is a piano. And over there, he played the melody, all fake. I said, no, it's not possible. We don't do it with a quartz wire. He said, well, I can play. And I said, okay. So I got my friend um, Sandro Oliva, who was um, behind the mixing table, the mixing desk. And he said, well, I, ha I have a friend, very, very good friend. So Carlo Cantini, hi Carlo, um, he came and at that moment, I didn't know who is Carlo Cantini. So he came, he played the violin like he was holding a baby in his hands. I never, I swear, I never met anybody in the world who plays so lightful and soft the violin, the violin and um, Carlo, Cantini played the melody and I still got goosebumps when I remember and when I listen to records of uh, Carlo Cantini and uh, he played and we made a good production and Domino made the backing vocals which were going ba, 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 ba. So, um, something like this. So we finished the record, we put it down and we get it, uh, we gave it to the record company. And um, the funny thing about all of the story of that was because this guy was just sitting behind the mixing desk. No, nothing to do, just sitting here like a doggy. And um, this guy was announced on the CD with and Thomas Marine, known as Mega Energy Man, and produced by and Thomas Marine, and, and that's that's the best thing. Original violin by 
and it didn't play nothing on it. Nothing at all. So this is one funny story. So now let's talk about Mr. Carlo Cantini and Carlo Cantini. So he's a very, very good friend of mine and also he made the mastering of Welcome to the Universe, which you have, I think, here on my YouTube channel. And um, he also do uh, a lot of other works and he has a big and a good collaboration with Sandra Oliva, which is my favorite producer in the world. And uh, anyway, uh, Carlo Contini, he is also very, very known as the violinist of, yeah, Andrea Bocelli. So he's also of a lot of other musicians in Italy, like Laura Pausini and, 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 and. So this would be a never ending story. I could about uh, announce you maybe 50 or 100 of musicians that he worked for. And uh, he's a very good musician and he works a lot for Sony Music. So if you're wondering now, what is Mega Energy Man wearing? So this is a leather jacket, which if you like it, Maybe it's gonna be on my online shop in a couple of months that I'm starting now, which I have some a lot of products uh, for Mega Energy Man and Initial D. And I think this jacket is gonna be an uh, Initial D jacket, which are gonna make then a little bit of promo uh, promotion on also the Instagram and uh, YouTube channel. So, guys, thank you very much and stay tuned for the Mega Energy Man TV. I'm gonna show you some other funny stories that I have with, with a very, very, very big producer and also that I worked for the brother of Michael Jackson, Jermaine Jackson. And uh, this is gonna be on the next episode, episode two, next week. Thank you very much and uh, stay tuned. Bye-bye, have fun, love you all, big kiss.